Hey guys, what is going on? So I have yet another collection update. Um, I've been doing, I've been getting so much shit lately. I feel so spoiled. But um, today my um, my family went out and like um, my siblings went to like this like toy store or whatever. And um, next door there was a record store. Um, so like my mom said that if I could find something for like under ten bucks, and she would buy it for me. So that was really nice for her. And um, it was mostly like I couldn't. There wasn't a whole lot of like stuff there that I was really, that looked very interesting but I found this and that was really cool I'm really glad I found this um so yeah it was mostly like like in the, the metal section was mostly like the more mainstream stuff like you know Metallica um Iron Maiden shit like that and then there's Sepultura and this was the only album that was in there but I had to get this because I need more Sepultura in my collection and this is one of my favorites from them a lot of people hate uh, Roots but I think it's a great album and I find it to be pretty enjoyable so um yeah so there's the album cover. Looks, I fucking love this album cover. To be honest, I always thought it was really cool looking. And I thought it has a clear tray, so you could see that, or you know, that's there. Um, there's the back. If you got like, the tribe or whatever, and the track listing. There's, it says there's 15 songs here, but there's an unlisted song here that's like 13 minutes of just like, um, it's like a noise track basically. Um, I looked it up and it's called like Canyon Jam or something like that. Um, there's the disc. It's pretty cool looking. As you can tell it's very new, it's all squeaky. <laughs> um, I like that artwork behind it. That looks really fucking cool. Pretty creepy looking. I, I really like that kind of style. Um, I don't know. But you know, this is a very like rural, tribal um, album. Very different from Sepultura's stuff prior to this album, except for maybe Chaos AD. Um, but the booklet is like it's hard to get it out because the CD is very new um but this is basically a tribal new metal album but i really enjoy it i'm not crazy about new metal but i think that this album is fucking great so once again the album cover there's the back you've got some credits and stuff and actually on one of the songs on here um jonathan davis from corn was on there so that's kind of interesting um, but there's some really cool artwork in the booklet with all the lyrics so it's really nice A picture of the band with like red and black face paint. And uh, yeah, so that's cool. Packaging is very nice, and it's a pretty long album, too. It's like over an hour long. Um, but, anyways, so opens up with Roots Bloody Roots, the most popular song on this album, and one of Sepultura's, if most popular, if not their most popular songs. Such a damn good song. It's the first song I ever heard from Sepultura. Actually, it's one of the first, I guess you could call this an extreme metal song. Not quite, but it was one of the first heavier metal songs I ever heard. Because I remember being like nine years old or eight years old. And this was back when the Metal Evolution documentary um, series came out. I remember my dad was watching it. And it was the new metal episode. And they were talking about this album. And they are playing Ritz Play Ritz in the background. I remember hearing the vocals. I remember it kind of scaring me a little bit. Because I, I wasn't like exposed to anything like that at the time so it's kind of funny looking back and i thought it was like the heaviest shit in the world back then um i don't know but i fucking love that song you know amazing guitarist really headbangable and such a catchy song very groove oriented you know um the drum beat is very hip-hop kind of sounding it's just a really catchy song and uh max cavalier's vocals are fantastic um attitude is really good it opens up with a more tribal kind of sound and then um once again his vocals are really good um, his vocals are also amazing on Cutthroat, um, which is also a really catchy song, some really great guitar riffs. Uh, Rada Mahata is another one of my favorites on here, um, really groovy song, um, you know, really fun. Uh, and very, that's probably one of the most new metal sounding songs on here. Uh, Breed Apart's pretty good. Straight Hate might even be my favorite song on here. Um, I really love the lyrics of that song, they're, I guess, kind of relatable in a way. Um, it's a, it's just an amazing song. Um, Spit, Look Away, I believe, is the song that has Jonathan Davis on it. But what's weird is that he doesn't even really do vocals on that song unless there's one. There's there's one part where you hear him in the background in the beginning of the song. He's just going like in the background of the song, and it, it's pretty weird. And then like um, later on, there's one part where there's like this really deep voice, and you, I can't tell if it's Max Cavalera or um, or Jonathan Davis, but um, I don't know if if um, if that is him, then that's cool, but, like, his, the background vocals is just so bizarre, like, I don't know. Um, 
But anyways, uh, Look Away is a good song though. Dusted, Born Stubborn. Uh, Jasco is like an acoustic guitar piece. It's almost, it's almost classical sounding, which I definitely appreciate because I play classical guitar in case you guys don't know and don't watch a lot of my videos. Um, it's Sorry is basically just like um, tri a tribal drum kind of like noise track. Um, Ambush is another one of my favorites on here. It's, it's a really good song. Um, Endangered Species is also great. Uh, Dictator Shit is a really good song. It, it's different from the other songs on here because that song is very punky sounding. Um, but it's like, it still has like, I, I think it still has some of the tribal drums and stuff, but it's more like, I don't know, it has like almost a D-beat drum style to it, which is very weird for this album. And track 16, which isn't listed on here, is called like Canyon Jam or something, and it was kind of boring, but it was a noise track, so whatever, I guess you could consider it a hidden track, but um, it was nice, like, I guess it's nice for like background stuff, but I'm not crazy about that kind of thing, but anyways, um, the production on here is very enjoyable. Um, it was done by Ross Robinson, legendary producer, I guess, in, like, like 90s alternative or new metal era. Um, but, you know, very bassy production on here. Um, the guitars are down-tuned to, like, B or something like that. Um, there's also a lot of elements of industrial on here, which I find very enjoyable. This album gets, like, like there's more and more elements of that, like, uh, throughout, like, further uh, the further you get into this album. And it's also very, like, I don't know. Like I said, it's a very rural sounding album. It makes like the atmosphere it gives you. It makes it feel like you're in like a fucking like jungle or something. I mean, I don't know. That's one of the things I like about this album and about Sepultura in general, but more so on this album than on any of the other ones. In my opinion, this is their last um, great album. I'm not crazy about anything that they did without my, um, the Cavalier Brothers, but um, I find this to be pretty enjoyable. This is probably like my third favorite album from them. My second, Arise, and first, obviously, Beneath the Remains. Um, that's their best, in my opinion, and in most people's opinions. But this is just really good. Uh, like I said, the production's really good. And I, like, I really like the bass sound on here. It has this really, like, grindy kind of sound. By grindy, I don't mean, like, grindcore. I mean grindy as in, like, just the sound of it is very... It has this really rattly kind of bass sound. Um, That's very unique. Some people say that Sepultura were just, like, selling out and trying to sound like corn or whatever on this album. And I disagree with that. Because this album came out in 1995, and I, I don't think that, like, new Metal had, like, ex really exploded um, by then. And on this album, they, they took that kind of groovy new Metal, early new Metal kind of sound, but they made it their own. They added elements of stuff that they were already using with their other albums prior to this, a couple of them, especially Chaos AD, um, you know, and, like, they made, like, a tr made it more tribal sounding, um... You know, and still angst filled though. Some of the songs are kind of like I said, straight hate, um, and maybe even cutthroat. I don't know. Um, are very kind of angsty sounding, um, but it's still a very tribal, um, almost spiritual in some ways sounding album. Um, I don't know. I find it to be very enjoyable, and there's, I, I could talk about this album for a while because there's a lot of depth to it. Um, and I mean, if you can't get into this album, um, and you want to. But you like Sepultura's earlier stuff? Just forget everything you you know about them. For like, forget Beneath the Remains, Rise, Schizophrenia, um, Morbid Morbid Visions, or, or you know, forget about all those and just think of it as a different band. And you might enjoy this unless you just don't like new metal. Um, but I think it's pretty great. Um, I don't know, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, really nice to have more Sepultura in my collection. And I eventually want to have all the Cavalera um, albums. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.